Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sarah. Today I have a massive Dollar Tree haul for you for the month of August. I'm super excited to show you because we have fall decor. Thank you for stopping by and hanging out with me. I definitely needed the girl time. And if you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And I would love for you to comment down below. Um, say hi, let me know how you're doing. Tell me if you're new. So let's get started. I'm gonna start with the basics. And you guys, you know when your kids are little and you go into their room and you do a thorough cleaning. You clean up all of their toys you rearrange, you move things around, and your kids walk in and they act like they've never seen those toys before and they play for hours. That's what happened to me at my Dollar Tree this month. I don't know what happened. They rearranged things and moved things around and it was like I saw things for the first time. Maybe they've been there the whole time. Maybe they're brand new. I have no idea, but I was super excited to find a couple of things in the kitchen area. So I'm gonna start with my basic, of course, go-to Kleenex that I show you in every single Dollar Tree video. But if you're new, Scotty's Kleenex are my favorite tissues. They're really good. I really like these blue bonnet boxes. They're super pretty. I highly recommend those. So grab some tissues for the upcoming fall and winter if you don't have any. And the kitchen supplies that I was telling you about, I found a couple of cooling racks. I have never seen these at the Dollar Tree before. Let me know in the comments below. Have these been there the whole time and I just haven't noticed? I have no idea, but I was really excited about them for two reasons. One, because we're getting to that time of year where I want to bake bread and this is perfect for cooling my bread down. I'm always trying to stick some, a wooden spoon or something underneath just to lift up the bread a little bit so it doesn't get soggy on the bottom when it's cooling down. So this will come in super handy. I used them for the first time last night when I put my homemade pizza on them. Same thing, it kept the crust crispy and prevented it from getting soggy. So I was super happy about these these items, I got a couple of those. And they have some really nice cutting boards. I have um, a great bamboo cutting board that I love. And then I have a couple of those flimsy plastic ones. Those are not my favorite just because they don't hold their shape. They tend to warp, but this is a great cutting board. I love the size, I love the handle. It'll be great for veggies or fruit or whatever I want to do. So I got that. I'm definitely going to pick up a couple of more, I think. My favorite item that I bought in the kitchen department is this chopper, scraper, food collector. If you've ever watched Rachel Ray, you've seen her use this to pick up her onions and carrots and everything else and dump it in the pan. I have always wanted one, but I've been too cheap. The Dollar Tree has them. Again, I don't know if they've always been there or not, but it's super good quality. It's got the measurements on the side if you wanted to cut something with it, if you're cutting out pasta or anything that you need to measure. Um, but I plan on using it to pick up veggies, garlic, that kind of thing. It does say that it's dishwasher safe. It seems to be made really well and I can't wait to use it. I was so excited I found this that I bought one for my sister. So anxious to try that out. And then I grabbed some floral tape. If you guys have never used this, I used to work in a flower shop when I was younger and um, this stuff is fantastic. It sticks to itself really well. So if you're doing any kind of um, artificial floral arrangement or anything like that, this, this tape is really great. So I was excited that the Dollar Tree had it. 
I've never bought it there before. Again, I'm finding stuff that I've never bought, so I'm excited about that. And then I grabbed some tissue. Kids are back to school and I wanted to throw one of these in my son's backpack just in case he needed them. I'm also putting together a um, uh, self-care box to give away and I grabbed some items for that. I really like these for flossing. We keep these on hand all the time. I grabbed a toothbrush, grabbed some chapstick, grab some of these breath strips and I've heard good things about the power stick styling gel this is styling cream I don't know it doesn't really have a smell but I thought my boys could give it a try and if they like it awesome if not it was only a dollar and that's okay next I've got some sponge paint brushes. They do have these in the craft section, but you only get one or two in a pack. If you go to the hardware and the car section, they have, what is this, an eight pack of foam brushes. They come in all different sizes. I really like these. I prefer these a lot more for small crafting jobs than the regular paint brushes because I feel like the string or the thread or the hair, whatever it is, it tends to come off and it gets everywhere. Here's a nice big one. So again, you get eight um, sponge brushes for a dollar. So really good deal. Okay, moving on, what do we wanna do next? Last month I showed you some Wrapping paper that I found. I love Dollar Tree's wrapping paper. It's really great. And this month I picked up some of this tissue paper. Um, I just thought it was really pretty and interesting and it was in colors and patterns that I hadn't seen before. It kind of reminds me of like what you would do for a bridal gift or a wedding gift, but um, I really liked it. I thought it was really nice. So I grabbed some of that. And then I grabbed some stationary supplies. This one is a notepad with the monthly calendar at the top. I love the notepad because it has a cactus on it. I just thought it was very desert and appropriate for Texas. It's got a magnet on the back so you can keep it on the fridge and it's great for you know, when you run out of something and you need to write it down or the kids need something, they can write it down so that you can grab it next time you're out at the store. I will actually probably use the calendar. Let me take it out. I will probably use the calendar at the top for journaling, but I really like that. I also found some labels. It's 40 piece labels. I really like the craft paper color. And again, I plan on using these for journaling. I just think they're interesting and pretty. Um, and you can put stamps on them or write on them or use them, you know, as borders and things. So I love both of those. I'm excited to try those. And then another thing I grabbed for journaling is just this pretty um, ribbon, this lace ribbon. I'm actually going to use that in my journal as well and maybe use it to wrap gifts with, we'll see. To go along with the wrapping paper, I got some more pretty bows. Got this one, which is colorful and super fun. And I grabbed this one, which I love. This is like very soft. It has almost a, a velvet texture to it. It's really pretty. I love the gold tones too. So I grabbed that. I grabbed some packaging tape. I like to send boxes of goodies and um, so I always need this and I, I ran out. And then I grabbed a couple of 
stocking stuffers. You guys, I know it's so early to be thinking about Christmas, but seriously, it's going to be here before we know it. And you know how the Dollar Tree is. If you don't grab it when you see it, then it's gone and you'll never find it again. I found these really pretty hair ties and I really like these elastic hair ties. They don't damage your hair quite as much. So I'm going to put that in my daughter's stocking. I thought this scrunchie was really pretty. It's really soft and the color is beautiful. I'm obsessed with this color. And then this one, just thought that was cute. And this one has grays and browns. And then the last item in the crafting section that I got, I have no idea what I'll do with these, but I thought they were so stinking cute. I had to get them. They're little glass bottles with corks. And in one of my subscription boxes that I got, they used something very similar to this and just put confetti in it and it looked so cute and pretty. And then they attached a ribbon to the cork. I don't know what I'll do with it, but I just thought it was cute and fun. I'll probably never see it again, so I had to grab that. Then I saw this eyeshadow stick. It's actually called a contour stick. It's LA Colors is the brand. It's what color? They're calling it bronzer. It's just a really pretty copper color. And I found something really similar at Target and I'm actually wearing it right now. I don't know if you can tell. Um, it's just a gold toned eyeshadow. And so I grabbed that. Thought I would try it for a dollar. Maybe I'll like it better than the Target brand. So like I said, I've been keeping my eye out at the Dollar Tree because I knew their fall decor was coming out any day now. And so I've probably gone there four times, just keeping my eye out. Last month, we got a very small sneak peek of fall and they had those little, um, they were actually wood pumpkins. One was hunter green, one was white. And I'm so glad I grabbed those because I have not seen them since. And um, they're super cute, but they had fall napkins and paper plates that are so pretty. I love this sunflower pattern. So I grabbed some napkins and paper plates to match just to have on hand. I'm actually going to save these napkins for Thanksgiving. I love the colors. The quality of the napkin is really nice. I don't know if you can see it through this packaging, but it's very thick. How many do you get? You get 24 for a dollar. So I got three different colors. I'm going to hold on to those. Okay, so let's get into the fall decor. They have tons of stuff. Go check it out. Take your time. Look around. See if you can find something for you. First thing I have is this little wood sign that says gather and it's just like a very heavy cork material. Obviously you'll want to paint it, um, you know, whatever, whatever color or pattern that you like for your house. It's, it's nice and heavy and it's made really well. So I love that. And the other sign that I grabbed, they have a ton of wooden signs there right now. I grabbed this one. It says, thankful and blessed. And it's in a pumpkin shape. And again, it's just a thick cardboard sign. They had some where the signs were just printed on. I actually liked this one with the glitter detail because it's more 3D and it looked more authentic. And I'm just noticing just now that it has a little bit of damage to it, but that's okay. I can probably paint it and fix it. But they have a ton of these, all different patterns, all different shapes and sizes. They have yard signs if you're interested in that. Really cute stuff right now. 
And I'm going to do a little floral arrangement for fall. And I liked these the best. They have tons of artificial flowers right now. They've got sunflowers, all different kinds of mums and different things. I really liked the color palette of these. I'm not sure if I will keep the acorn in it or not, we'll see. But I thought they were cute, very pretty. So, um, and then these little stalks of wheat, I thought would look pretty mixed in with that to give it some height. All right, and then I picked up one of these guys last year. He's just a cute little owl, but he's super fun. So I grabbed him to have another one, put him in my house somewhere. I like his little buttons. Grabbed another sign very similar to the pumpkin, but this one is a leaf and it says give thanks. So that's more Thanksgiving appropriate, I guess. Super cute. If you wanted to, you could paint the back and create your own sign. They also had plain signs there that were just plain wood that you could paint and create however you wanted to. I grabbed some ribbon and I was actually thinking about adding it to those signs maybe. I don't know, we'll see. But it's it's pretty and shiny, pretty for fall. And then they had some buffalo plaid, which I don't really know why this is fall, but I grabbed it while they had it. I grabbed three rolls. Again, it's three for a dollar. It says they're nine feet each, or it's a dollar each, but um, I like to wrap gifts with these, so I'll keep them on hand. I actually used black buffalo plaid to wrap Christmas gifts last year, so those would be nice to have. They had a couple of small wood signs that I thought were really sweet. This one says, eat, drink, and give thanks. It's a pretty green color and the lettering is sparkly. Love that. And this one says, gather with grateful hearts. It's got squash on it and wheat down at the bottom and they have the little sticks like pumpkin so I love these for um you know a tiered tray or my book bookcase back here um just maybe my mantle I don't know yet where I'm gonna put them but I love them I thought they were really pretty they had a couple of different patterns there. Again, they had some that um, just had the lettering printed on, but I felt like these were um, better quality and they are wood, solid wood. So they're nice and heavy. So I love those. They had a, a little wood sign like that, that I wanted so bad that had just one letter on it and I could not find one for my last name or my first name. They never had it when I was in there, but I, if I see it, I'll grab that. I bought these lights last year and they're super fun. They're just little leaves. They're just LED battery operated lights. Let me take them out so you can see. They really only last one year, but for a dollar, you can't beat them. Just little, little fall leaves. I got red and orange and they just hold two AA batteries. So they're kind of fun to add. Again, I'll probably put them, put it on my food tray on my island. So I got two of those. And the pumpkins that I grabbed, I grabbed three pumpkins. They have all different kinds of pumpkins there right now. They have plastic ones, they have super bougie glittery ones if that's your style. I loved the burlap wrapped ones. These are just foam pumpkins so they're very light 
but the burlap to me looked the most authentic and it's got the little the little wood stem at the top so I have two orange ones and a beige one and actually the last time I was at the Dollar Tree I was just there yesterday I just had to run in really quick and grab a couple of things um, and I just kind of glanced at the fall section that's actually when I found the paper plates and napkins was just yesterday so keep checking the Dollar Tree you guys they're going to continue to add things every day every week um, and so you might see something new but I thought these were really cute for a dollar super appropriate for fall I love the texture on them so I'm gonna hold on to those And then I grabbed another roll of ribbon. This is really appropriate any time of year. I love the burlap with the lace look. Just thought it was super pretty. I, again, I'm not really sure what I'll do with it, but something crafty and it'll be nice to have on hand. And this one is nine feet also. And then last but not least, I grabbed some garland. I love this garland. This one is red and orange. This one is white and green. And then this one is just red. And it does unfold. Let's see if I can show you. So it is just wrapped around itself. So you can unfold it. And then you can stretch it out however you want to use it. So just fun and pretty. So I got three of those. You can see that it's going to be nice and long. I haven't even finished unwrapping it yet. So you can, you know, wrap it around your decor. I'm actually um, going to attach them to little wood signs that I'm making, I think. And put use them as little wreaths. So that is my Dollar Tree haul for the month of August. I hope you liked it. I hope you liked the fall decor. Let me know in the comments down below the treasures that you have been finding for fall. I am super excited about everything. I can't wait to paint my little gather sign and hang that somewhere. Um, maybe attach some ribbon or some silk flowers to it. I'm not quite sure yet. And I am in love with the little stationary pieces that I grabbed for my journaling. So yeah, I thought it was a great month. So I hope y'all are having a fabulous weekend. Thank you again for stopping by and I'll see you next time. Bye.